Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flater Mouse. You've probably seen the experiments where you've taken a steel paper clip and actually you can float it on the surface of water. Even though the paper clip is over seven times the density of water, the surface tension of the water allows the paper clip to float. The cohesive forces among liquid molecules are responsible for the phenomenon of surface tension. Now this force can be easily broken by just a little dab of dishwashing soap added to the water. But you've probably already seen that. But will we see the same thing using the liquid metal mercury? Okay, now we'll add the paper clips to the surface of the mercury, and of course they float and there's nothing we can do to make them sink, just simply because they are less dense than the mercury. Now we'll add a tungsten rod because tungsten is denser than mercury, but then we can have the same phenomenon going on with the paper clips in the water, and you can see how resistant that tungsten rod is to sinking but we can make it sink. And of course it's due to the high surface tension of mercury that we can do this. So what happens if we add a soap solution to this? Will it, we be able to break that surface tension? The soap solution has absolutely no effect on breaking the surface tension of the mercury. So what if we take a solution of something that will actually react with the mercury? Here we're taking a weak nitric acid solution and watch this. Even though the nitric acid solution and the mercury is reacting rather violently, even though it's a pretty weak solution of acid, the tungsten rod still refuses to break through the surface tension. And of course this is attributed to the extremely high surface tension that mercury possesses. Not only is mercury the liquid with the highest density at room temperature, it also is the liquid with the highest surface tension. Here we're, we just have a, the soap solution and nitric acid combined together and it still does not break through the surface tension. If you enjoy videos about mercury, please check out my playlist. I have dozens and dozens of videos showing this unique and absolutely beautiful element. The one thing that probably thrills me and humbles me at the same time is when viewers tell me that they saw my videos in their science class. Their teacher actually showed my videos in their science class and I think that's pretty cool. That's better than someone telling me that they liked the video or subscribed or anything like that. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.